That's the main question. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. I'm just gonna go that way. Over yonder. Or can I go out this door? Is there anything in here? Maybe. I don't know. Nope. <sighs> Hello, Sauce Boss. How are you doing today? Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm supposed to go over there. I see you, Orb. I see you. I see you. Show me the way. Why are you excited? What happened? <coughs> ah. Okay, thought I could go that way. This game is such a beaut. Wait, so you're happy that <laughs> your sister is leaving? Like you're happy that she'll be out of the house or, or you're happy that she actually is going to college I'm a little bit confused on that one how the heck did we end up back over here the orb did come this way right pretty sure it did happy that she's out of the house yep that's what I figured we're still not done with Steven's chapter I just realized that for some reason I thought Lizzie Lizzie uh, dying was the end of Steven's chapter. So that wouldn't make much sense. Although, yeah, it kind of makes sense. Radio in here. Physical changes are evident. Although the butterfly burn is now faded, I can clearly see the change in my pores up close. As I record these words, I can feel myself hearing them as if for the first time, as if I'm both the speaker and listener simultaneously. I am a scientist. I can only deal with the evidence I have. And this points in one simple direction. It's not in the observatory. It's in me. Wait, so Kate is? The <coughs> the thing. Still don't know what to call it. Eh, it's like a one day difference. Not that big of a difference. Why? Huh. Okay then. It's a plot twist and a half. For some reason we're back over here. I wonder if I just missed that originally. <laughs> so we had to go back and do that. Nice sauce boss. Um, where's the orb at? 
Orb, I need your guidance. The orb did, did go this way, right? Oh, there it is. I was like, the orb did go this way, right? <laughs> oh god. Sauce boss, just go to the front desk and ask. Unless you have to pay for it. You, though. You're overreacting. Steven, they stare at me. <laughs> Yesterday I went into the village and this old woman just stopped in the middle of the street and stared at me like I had two heads. Oh, don't be so melodramatic. <laughs> I'm like a walking freak show. Oh, this place, it's so insular. I just don't understand how you grew up here. Well, I was very different then. And they're not so bad, really. That's easy for you to say. Just give it a bloody chance, Kate. This was the deal. A year here, and we could be in with a real shot at Lucia. Stephen! Oh, Christ, it's Lantham. Stephen Appleton, I thought it was you. What's all this about a young wife? Oh. Um, hello. Awkward. Stephen. Hi, I'm Kate. That's real awkward. Oh, I could go this way. Oh. Wow. I'm totally blind. Oh my god, my eyes. Come on, orb. Just show me the way. <coughs> oh my god. This thing's insane. I swear. Oh, here we are. Dang, we're still not done with Steven's chapter. What do you want me to say? You knew what you were getting into. Really? Well, I'm sorry we don't measure up to your exacting standards, Dr. Collins. Maybe you just need to give us ordinary humans a break. What? Ordinary humans like Lizzie Graves? Ooh. <laughs> did you really think that I wouldn't find out? Frank told me, or did you forget there's one person in this shithole who actually talks to me? Kate, it was just a dream. Don't bother, Stephen! Oh, for Christ's sake. Kate, slow down. You were... Engaged to her, Stephen. You nearly married oh, her. Oh, come on, it was just a drink. Then why the hell did you lie to me about because it? Because I knew you'd be mad and then it would end up in a row. You wanted to focus on the event tonight. Oh, so you were actually doing me a favor. Wow, I guess I just forgot to say thank you. Do not treat me like I'm an idiot. You're overreacting. I know, I know you're stressed. Just don't. I'm not gonna let you ruin this for me. Kate. Kate, come on, this is crazy. Jesus Christ, Steven. Steven's a jerk and an idiot. He's just everything. Um, I don't know what's going on with that. Or if I'm supposed to go over there. Or if I'm supposed to go this way. I'm not really sure. Oh, is that the orb right there? I think that's the orb. Where's this telephone at? I see it. It's all over the valley. Don't you get that? This isn't some abstract thing. Whatever came down into the tower has got out. They've quarantined the whole valley. It's right here in the observatory. It's out in the world. It's adapting and spreading. Do you understand? No, we can't turn it away. It's come too far. Okay, people are disappearing. Shut it down now. No. If 
you won't help me, I'll do it on my own. I'm gonna route all the power back through Tower 6. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, it's trying to break through again. Wait! Dang. Where do I go? Oh, through this door maybe? Nope. Through this one? Nope. God, this OST is so good. I need to get this on like iTunes or something. See if they have it on Spotify. I don't know why I said iTunes. I don't even use iTunes. Yeah, I can't go through there. Public footpaths. This game is beautiful, dude. Especially when it's uh, sunny out like it is right now. Oh yeah, this was the place from earlier, right? Is this even the place I, or is this even where I need to go? I can't tell. Gotta find the orb. Now let's go up there. Wait, no, that's where we came from, right? Pretty, yeah, that's where we came from. Hmm. Well, I don't know. I feel like I'm supposed to be back up there. I don't know. Where does it want me to go? Oh! Orb's right there. How do I get over there? Oh my god. It's already nighttime again. Jesus. I think I know how to get over there. If only it didn't turn nighttime so freaking quick. That would be nice. Now it's back to daytime. Hmm. Weird. Um. Can I? Ha oh my god, I can't get over. Uh, I have to go all the way around to the gate. Hopefully this is... Uh, the way I'm supposed to be going. Get out of my ear, fly. Yeah, okay. I think we're good. You just have to go super long way around.
Here we are. Is there anything? There's data coming through faster oh, than I can encode yeah. it. I've already lost two processors. They keep burning out. Please, I love you. You need to get up. I already heard that. I can't, I can't sprint right now. Am I supposed to be going this way? Yeah? Come on. Yeah. Oh, hey, I remember this place. This is exactly what happened earlier. I had to wait for this. What the heck was that? I just heard typing again. That's so weird. Um. Excuse me, even though it's just a cough. Where the heck is this thing leading me to? Somehow we're back here. Well, this is new. Are these the tunnels? I don't know how much I like this. Like setting you up for a jump scare, pretty much. Okay, I'm going super slow, and I can't do anything about it. Oh, who is this? When I was a kid, mm. my dad found a fox. It had been hit by a car and couldn't walk anymore. My mum went spare, of course. Made him keep it in the shed. He was already slipping away from us then. He spent hours with that fox, telling it all about Italy and the villages they bombed there. I was... I was jealous, I think. The fox got more of my dad than I did. But it was dying, that was clear. So one day, I snuck out, took it a sandwich for food. I was only eight. And it bit me. I remember the anger, the shock, the hurt. Running in, screaming from the garden. My mum panicking about rabies. My dad beat it to death with a spade. Later I found him crying. I'd done a Kent, son. That's what he said. I'd done a Kent, it was hurting you. That's just a poor, dumb, dying animal. It doesn't know it's hurting us. 
Christ help us, it's left the valley. It's everywhere now. It's been three hours since the planes went over. I haven't been able to reach anyone on the shortwave. I'm beginning to think I may have made a terrible miscalculation. Is Steven about to die? Oh god. Don't accept it. Steven, don't do it. Uh, <coughs> Thomas, this game, hold on, before I go in there, and let me explain this. Uh, this game's about, like, uh, a town where something bad happened, and pretty much every single person died. And then we're going in and figuring out what happened, why everybody died, and if anyone's still alive. And, uh, you, you don't actually see people, you see their ghosts or light bulbs. Like, see that light? <laughs> see that light right there? That's a light, and then once I go in and trigger it, it'll uh, play through a, a memory. And, oh god, it's doing it. Uh, <laughs> I didn't mean to trigger it, but um, once I do that, it'll play through a memory and it'll show something important. And, uh, <laughs> I think this is the end of the game, or <laughs> close to it. I don't know why I'm coughing so much now. Alright. And I messed up. <laughs> Alright. What are you? You understand me, don't you? <laughs> That's me. You know what this is? What I'm gonna do? You want light? Fine. I'll give you light. After me, there's no one. You'll be all alone again. Forever. Like before. You've taken everyone I've ever loved from me. You made me do things I never even thought I was capable of. But if you think I'm coming with you... Kate? Wait. Stop. Kate. Bye, Thomas. This is Catherine Collins. I don't know if anyone will ever hear this. It's all over. I'm the only one left. Oh, we get to play as Kate? I didn't think we were going to get to play as Kate. Oh my god, my camera wouldn't, wasn't working there. Dude, this game is really cool. And then that was the part in the beginning, I'm the only one left. Completely forgot about that. Surely is the only one left. Huh. Oh, 
god. Am I supposed to be going in? Oh. No? Maybe not? Huh. What are we supposed to be doing? What are we supposed to do over here? I'm just hitting X on like everything. Pretty sure you have to go this way. Maybe not. Maybe we go through the front door. No, you can't even do that. Huh. Maybe we're not supposed to be over here. You guys could probably hear me hitting X. <coughs> Doesn't let you through that door. Am I supposed to go this way? Tower for can't go through that. Assuming you can't go go through that. <coughs> well, what the heck, man? Where am I supposed to be going? This is kind of like taken away from the game. There's got to be something over here. There's got to be. Let me through the gate. Nope. Doesn't work. <coughs> oh. Wait. I accidentally stopped it. I didn't mean to stop it. Alright then. Okay.
There we go. This is where we need to be. Oh God. Oh no. The end is coming now. I'm not afraid. We have each other. We lived apart from them. We understand now our failure to touch, to belong. But it doesn't matter anymore. Everybody is gone. And we will join them. We are born apart. Driftwood on the banks of an endless dark ocean and we will be carried away by the swell soon enough. But in between, in the single day of living, that dancing in a strip of sunlight, we can find what we miss. The love that makes us whole. The imminence. Everybody found their other. This pattern is mine. Is that the end? Wait, so does that mean Kate? Does that mean you weren't listening at each radio station to what Kate was saying you were recording? what Kate was saying and that makes sense and yeah I was right earlier when I said you have to you can't be afraid anymore you have to accept it and then it'll take you I was right Huh. That was a good game. <sighs> Alright, well, for those of you watching on uh, YouTube, I hope you guys enjoyed this short, but a uh, pretty sweet walkthrough. It was uh, definitely a really good game for only $20. But, uh, yeah. K is uh Kay and Steven obviously the best couple ever you just got here Neon <laughs> this sucks man <laughs> I just finished I've been streaming for like let me see how long I've been streaming for three hours <laughs> this was only a three hour game um but yeah if you guys enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed playing it you know the usual and uh, I'll see you guys for whatever I decide to do next. Uh, yeah, see you guys. Uh, yeah, Neon.